What you can see here is the PAD emotional state model. It's a mathematical model that is used to display emotions and emotional state changes. And it consists out of three dimensions that are pleasure, arousal and dominance. Um, these values can be used to map discrete emotions such as joy, anger or um, gratitude into this three-dimensional vector space. There are eight octants in the space. Um, these octants describe the moods. The emotions get injected into the space by something called the appraisal. So the appraisal is everything that's in your current situation and somehow affects your emotional state. You can also assign a duration and an intensity to the stimulus so that the effect that the stimulus has on the whole emotional space decreases over time. Uh, you can imagine stimuli as events that occur during verbal or nonverbal communication interaction with the robot, for example, and each stimuli also contains an emotion. Hey, Sandbot, you look great today. So, for example, when touching the robot on its head, the emotion joy gets triggered by the stimulus touch robot. The stimulus has an initial duration of 60 seconds and as you can see, as the duration decreases, the intensity also decreases. When repeating the stimulus, now the emotion turns to anger. As you can see, the stimulus was the same, it was also a touch robot stimulus, but a certain threshold gets attained and causes the emotion to turn into anger. So now if you repeat the stimulus over and over again, we can turn the mood from exuberant into hostile. As now the mood has also changed, medium-term reactions of the robot can be affected by this. Hey Sandbot, play Trick 7 with me. I'm happy to play Trick 7. If you want to hear the rules, please say help. If you want to start the game right now, say ready. <laughs>